So here I have a showcase, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I know, I know, okay? There's something wrong with Stormgate right now, okay? I know. But I have a solution that doesn't require a balance patch, okay? I'm in the top right up here. I'm the red celestial player. This is our opponent, the barcode celestial player, okay? This guy made a barcode so that he could morph core rush people. I'm going to tell you right now, the counter to this is to use your first morph core to make a creation chamber, okay? So, I move my arc ship out to the mid map, and I make one prism. Because in the early... I'm going to go back, actually, because this is important. In the early game, I scanned this area, right? I didn't scan his mine. I didn't scan his natural luminite mine. I scanned the area where it would make it most obvious that it's he's flying straight to my side of the map, right? He's used the surge ability on his first arc ship, which makes the arc ship move 50% faster so that it can get across the map faster. This is also the second best map in the game. This is Lost Hope. This is the second best map in the game for the Morph Core Rush because they reach your base much faster on this map than they do on the other maps. So, we use this first Morph Core to make a creation chamber, and then we make our own Argents. And what we do is you want to fly your Arc Ship directly across the map. Because if he makes the decision to make an Array instead of continuing to do the Morph Core Rush... You kill him with your Argent advantage from the early game. Because if he makes an array, it means that his creation chamber isn't going to start until like a minute and 50 seconds into the game. And with the surge bonus of your creation chamber, you should be able to have about six Argents before he has one. So there's no problem with going creation chamber first and making prisms, because you just fly your arc ship across the map to where his array is going to be at, and you kill him. So, here's what we do, right? We make this creation chamber, we surge bonus charge it so it builds 50% faster, and then we just have Argents when our opponent gets to our base to attack us, okay? So, this is my current, like, solution to this incredibly cancerous and horrid problem and then just remember to use the heal from your arc ship on your low hp argents you can see here that when my argent got low i pulled it away from the morph core because there's a large movement speed difference between the argent and the morph cores right so we walked out of our base to engage the the morph cores we use the energy of the Argents, and when they start to get low health, we fall away. We use the heal spell of the Arc Ship, and then we just continue kiting. So, this is, like, what I'm doing. Don't try to make uh, towers. Don't try to make link nodes and towers. Make power nodes. Power banks, excuse me. Because you want these power banks so that you can refill the energy of your Argents. Because they do twice as much damage when they have the energy to use their auto attack spell. And also, the Morph Core is a heavy unit type. And the Argent is a unit that does bonus damage versus heavy units. And in this game, bonus damage means 100%. So your Argent hits for 16 damage, but against a heavy target, it hits for 32 damage. At least, that's what I understood from the last playtest, okay? You can see here, I'm going to shoot this Morph Core, and it has 23 health. And then also, the second note that I'm going to make is, like I said, don't make towers. They take too long to complete. And they eat up your money, and you don't get to make Argents, okay? You see here, he used the power bank and built it in a bad spot. 
because I kind of forced him to do so by moving out of my base and engaging him down here. I forced him to build buildings away from my production structure. If he gets directly on top of your production structure and builds his first two power banks right here, he's going to use double Sovereign Watch, and he's going to force you away from your Luminite Mine, and he's going to kill your Luminite Mine while the Sovereign Watch it forces you to pull away from this. But you're going to see here, right, I pull away from the Sovereign Watch, and this Argent is at low health right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Arc Ship to heal my Argents back to full while I wait for the Sovereign Watch to go away, okay? And then the other important note in this situation, I waste energy shooting at his power bank here. You just keep killing the Morph Cores. Don't spend your Argents' energy on shooting at his buildings. See, I'm wasting energy here shooting at the building. I guess, like, now is the point when I absolutely could have just killed this before it finished and stopped him from being able to use a Sovereign Watch. But you really should be killing the Morph Cores and not the Power Banks or the buildings that he's building. Because these Morph Cores are the thing that are going to be able to shoot at your collection array. And that's how you defend. This is like, this is like easy shop cleanup for defending. Because what's going to happen, right? you're going to scan and it's going to be very obvious that they're trying to fly across the map right so what you do in the very beginning is you run your arc ship through the middle of the map to s intercept his arc ship right you're going to like see his arc ship in the middle of the map and you're going to be like okay he's here he's really doing this i don't get to make prisms i don't get to make a new array and I need to continue to make Argents, right? What I would do if he didn't do this is I would kill my one health camp with my first three Argents. I would kill the health camp while my arc ship flies across the map. And then when my arc ship gets to about this location, I would drop a creation chamber and a power bank on his side of the map. And then I would try to kill him with my early game unit advantage, right? Like I said, you're making this creation chamber way before he does if he goes for an array first. And you should have an overwhelming numbers advantage when you get here with your arc ship because you'll kill the one health camp so that you can get the regeneration effect of the health tower. And then you'll come here and you'll have like four or five more Argents than he does. And you can just walk in blow up a building with an enhanced Argent shot and then fall back to your power banks or like walk in and one shot an Argent of his because he has way less than you and you can keep the snowball in your favor. So that's my guide on how to defend the Morph Core Rush as Celestials. I will try to make a guide on how to defend this as Vanguard and as... Uh, infernals eventually but for right now i'm pretty sure that this is going to get nerfed out of the game even though i've sort i'm showcasing a way to deal with it this isn't a good way to deal with it it's just kind of the only way to deal with it so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this content go ahead and hit the follow button drop a like and subscribe hit us with a comment down in the comments below and i appreciate you